Between these years, data was collected every three years on the amount of plastic produced annually in the US and billions of pounds. The graph below shows the line of best fit. The equation of the line is we have a slope of 3.39 and a y-intercept of 46.89, where x is years since 1985, that's going to be like our y-intercept, our start, and y is the amount of plastic produced annually. So in the actual question, they say our best interpretation of our slope of our line. So a little thing to mention here, the slope of your line, the units for your slope are always going to be the units of your y. And let's kind of, you know, ensure y. So when x is equal to zero, we have 46.89 billions of pounds of plastic produced, right? When x is equal to one, all that's changing for each increase of one in x is we're adding an additional 3.39 to our y. So if this is billions of pounds of plastic, we are just adding 3.39 billions of pounds of plastic for each year that passes, right? So we know looking through our answers, we're looking for it to be an amount of plastic, not in years. So in A, the amount of plastic, good start, uh, produced in the US during 1985, we're starting at 1985, a is actually describing our y-intercept, not our slope. In B, the number of years it took already going to be wrong. That's describing x, not our slope. In C, the average annual plastic production in billions of pounds in the US from 1985 to 2003. Now that sounds like a good answer, but let's think about what that's saying. If we're starting, just to kind of oversimplify this, let's call this starting at 50. And let's say we're ending at 110, my actual average um, plastic production per year over the course of this time period would just be finding the middle. So our middle between these would be 80. So my answer to C would be 80 billion pounds of plastic per year. Well, that doesn't look our, like our slope, right? And it becomes much easier when we contrast it with a different answer. Our slope isn't the average per year produced. Our slope is the average increase per year. So each one year that passes, we increase our production of plastic by 3.39. D is going to be our answer, the average increase, not just the overall average, which is actually our Y. 